my personal family has been involved in this fraud. She has endlessly sent witchcraft and spirit to my home at Bugembe. Combined with another old man who is dying in Interoko district, he's called Rankasha Derek, and is definitely a shrine in Imbarara, where my spirit, that of my son, only 10 years old, another son, Brian Kawesi, another one, Simon, are being held. You've also held of course, Geoffrey, who is my partner. You're holding him as your husband, as Guinness, his will, so you can get the political power. This is what I need to tell you. I'm called Maureen Chalia legally, and I'm doing this on first life, so you can take it to court if you want to. I am called Inebio. I am the in charge of Uganda, the Mukama, the first female Mukama of Uganda since it was set up. Go and ask your ancestors, what does Mukama Wamala mean? That is where I am in Uganda right now. I need to among, I am not running anymore. I'm not racing with you anymore. I'm not racing with any politicians anymore. The only thing I can promise you is any politician who hurts another, who kills another, who offers blood sacrifice, who takes innocent children to jail, just because you want to keep getting blood from them. The junior is an example. All of you, I am going to roast you like chicken. Trust me, you are all going to die. I'm saying it in black and white. In God's name, in God's power, all politicians who are rising to glory because of witchcraft, you are all going to die. If you want a reference, stick to write Honorable Speaker Kadaga. I did have the same discussions with her when she was ambitious. She wanted to become president like you. I told her, do what you do without affecting my family and without witchcraft. She wouldn't listen. And where is she now? Anita, among you, a young girl. And if I did not allow you to become the Deputy Speaker of Parliament, you would never have become. I disqualified only two people in Uganda from being Speaker, you and Kadaga. You have forced your way through witchcraft using my own 10-year-old son, David, and my daughters, Daniela and Grace, in your witchcraft, hurting me and my family. I am in the UK. I'm not involved in your politics, but every single night I sleep, you get involved in witchcraft. You summon my spirit to Uganda with my son. You use us for witchcraft. You use us for your Tibahura fraud. Anita Among, I don't care that you are speaker. You are hurting me and my family. And we have nothing to do with your politics. And I am warning you, don't blame me for what happened. Don't blame me for what happened. Don't blame me for what happened. You hear me? Don't blame me for what happened. You will get exactly what you're asking for. Anita Among, if you don't leave me, my family, my children, my ancestors alone, you declare yourself as a new mother for Busoga. Who asked you? Who told you we have no women in Busoga? Who told you Kadaga is dead even if I have issues with him? Who told you we have no mothers and fathers in Busoga? Anita Among, you have crossed the line, I'm telling you. That family you're messing with spiritually, that is my family. And all Ugandan politicians know this is a serious warning to you. I will not have witchcraft anymore. Ugandans, generally, if you want Yoluvale, do not use them for witchcraft. Do not use them for witchcraft because I am going to eliminate all of them. From this minute onwards, I'm going to be striking all traditional doctors who come to the courts of heaven for witchcraft. All politicians, at the moment, Anita Among, they're the only politician in court, by the way. Even Kadaka is not there anymore. Every single time there's witchcraft in Uganda, Anita Among, Anita Among, Anita Among, Anita Among, I am warning you. You are the only politician, and yes, the most successful. But whoever is using you is stealing money from you. Witchcraft no longer works in Uganda, not under my dad. You are going to fall as fast as you have risen. You're going to fall as fast as you have risen. You're going to fall as fast as you have risen. You are going to fall as fast as you have risen. I've said it four times. If you don't stop witchcraft, particularly dragging my children and myself into it, touching inside my womb, my womb, my womb, my womb, Anita Among, I am angry with you. I am angry with you. I don't know if you even have an idea what that means. I am angry with you for touching in my womb. I am angry with you. You have crossed the line. David Charlie Walube, that is my son. I think you call him Goliath in your witchcraft. That is my son. Daniela, that is my daughter. Grace, that is my daughter. You are attacking one woman's womb, one woman's family involving my children in unnecessary witchcraft 
I could have blessed you. You could have called me. My number is known everywhere. I'm the one who gave you the deputy speakership. You could have made a phone call to say, can I become speaker? You did not have to touch in my womb. I need a monk. I am angry with you. And I'm giving you a final warning. If you don't stop witchcraft at that level, do not blame me for what happened to you and your lineage. Do not blame me for what happened to you and your lineage. I'm not having it anymore. Do not blame me, Anita, a monk. Stop touching my womb. Stop touching my children. Stop playing with God's power. Stop playing with me. Stop playing with Jesus' power in witchcraft. Stop involving Jesus' power in witchcraft. Anita, I am angry with you and I'm telling you, I've said it on video. If you don't slow down, you'll fall down on your feet as fast as you got on them. That is me. I'm Maureen Charlia. I've said this on video, do what you want with it, take me to court on our speaker of parliament, do what you want. I will not have anybody use my children and myself for witchcraft. You want power, ask God. You want power, call me, use the phone number. The prophet is not a prophet in their home, but I am the prophet and the Messiah. Call me on the phone line. Don't use witchcraft on me and my family. Don't kill people for me and my family. Don't issue blood sacrifice for me and my family. Do not kill Olanya for me and my family. Ugandan politicians, I'm going to start killing you back, I'm telling you. I'm angry with the death of Olanya. I'm angry with the death of Museven, even if you've covered it up. I am angry with my children that you're killing. Do not underestimate me. I am warning you, do not underestimate me. I am warning you, do not underestimate me. Anita Among, whoever is hearing me and has contact to Anita, send this video to her, tell her 